In this video, I'm going to discuss the differences in the Xeon 5675 and the Xeon 5690. Both of these CPUs will work in the 4,1 and 5,1 Classic Mac Pros. The difference is that you will have to delid the CPUs in order to use them in the 4,1 and you don't to use them in the 5,1. The Xeon 4675 is a 3.06 GHz 6 core processor and in a dual CPU system it will add up to 12 cores for 24 threads. The Xeon 5690 is a 3.46 GHz 6 core processor and as with the previous CPU it will have 12 cores and 24 threads in a dual processor system. We will be using the dual configuration for all the tests in this video. Now the biggest difference between these two CPUs besides the frequency is the TDP or thermal design power. The Xeon 5675 has a TDP of 95 watts while the Xeon 5690 has a TDP of 130 watts. The system I used for these tests is a 4,1 Classic Mac Pro that has been flashed to a 5,1. It has a 32 gigabytes of memory, an RX 580 GPU, and is running Mac OS Monterey version 12.6.3 using the Open Core Legacy Patcher. I did have to run a test in Cinebench with the 5690 on my main system running 12.5.1, but the results would be about the same. All other tests were run on the first system. Some of the tests I used were Cinebench R23, Prime 95, Heaven Benchmark, and Geekbench 6. I used Prime 95 and Heaven together because I wanted to not only max out my CPU, but wanted to max out the GPU as well to get the max wattage the machine draws using both CPUs. Okay, so right off the bat, let's talk about power usage because later on that is going to be very important at the end of this video. First off, the dual Xeon 5675s while running both Prime 95 and Heaven come in at 519 watts of power usage. That is under full load of the CPU and GPU. A lot of users will never push their systems like this. At idle, with nothing running, the dual Xeon 5675s draw 165 watts of power. On the dual Xeon 5690s running both Prime 95 and Heaven, the power usage comes in at 633 watts. That is a little over 110 watts more power than the Xeon 5675s. At idle, the dual Xeon 5690s draw 184 watts. Now that is about 20 watts more than the dual Xeon 5675s. The big factor is the load on the CPU. Now for some benchmarks. The dual Xeon 5675s come in at 544 single core score and 3840 in multi core score. Now I know this may seem low to some, but this is the newest Geekbench and I decided to use it for this testing purposes. The Geekbench 6 score for the dual Xeon 5690s are a slight improvement, but not much more coming in at 582 for single core and 4015 for multi core means that you get 38 more points in single core and 175 more points in multi core to be honest this really doesn't impress me that much for performance per watt now for cinebench this test uses all 24 threads to test a render and gives a score at the end it runs for 10 minutes and does multiple passes the score for the dual Xeon 5675s is 7708. While running Cinebench R23, the watt meter was showing 340 watts of power usage. Okay, same test for the dual Xeon 5690 results in a score of 8691. Almost a 100 point difference from the previous test. The dual Xeon 5690 while running Cinebench R23 was using 433 watts of power. Almost 100 watts more power for the same task and only getting 100 more points on the score. 
In conclusion, and in my opinion, the Xeon 5690 isn't much better than the 5675 and uses much more power than the 5675. The Xeon 5690 will turbo from 3.46 GHz to 3.73 GHz. The Xeon 5675 will turbo from 3.06 GHz to 3.46 GHz. That means that the Xeon 5675 will actually turbo to the base clock speed of the 5690, but without the TDP overhead. So, if you want a Classic Mac Pro that is fast, but want less power usage to save on the electric bill, then go with the Xeon 5675 CPUs. The performance gain is very minimal compared to the power usage of the 5690s. I hope you found this video useful and give it a thumbs up. This has been a Mac Attack production.